Hello friends. In this session we are going to learn what is the mean by group and how we can create a dynamic groups. Okay. Now what is a group in Tableau? What group will do? See actually group is nothing but like by combining the similar kind of data members and making a higher level category means group is like normally we can say like similar kind of things means similar kind of like for example if you'll take for like different kind of vegetables will be having right so you are making one group with all the vegetables okay and if you are going to do another like electronics electronics means it may having different kind of products all the products we are making into a single group okay now we are going to see now for example i have prepared some sample set of data like product id name and what is the price of that product now here i have connected to tableau now for the same now here i can see name product id now here i can see the name and the price of it the same data which i have in my excel file now now i am going to show how we can create a group normally see for example now here you can see product id so means what i have given right so whichever like uh, horlicks boost milk powder tango tea powder brew whichever is we are going to use right so this i am keeping in under aa with the code aa hyphen 01 aa hyphen 02 means it is a product id for each product there is a one id okay so now here all the product ids i have given as a like a starting with and for vegetables whichever is uh, like vegetables i am uh, i have given a code like ab starting with ab hyphen ab hyphen ab hyphen ab hyphen okay now for electronics i have given cc hyphen 01 cc hyphen 02 cc hyphen 03 like that cc i have given a common code for electronics now for groceries i have given bb okay so this way i have categorized and i am keeping in my database now how <clears throat> see for example now whichever all the electronics i want to make a group and all the groceries i want to create one group and for all the vegetables i have to create another group and for all these like horlicks boost whichever we will use right so those i am going to prepare another group with a different name and about this whichever the products will come I'm, I want to make it other. Okay. Now, normally, how we can create a group in Tableau? Now, to create a group, we can create a group in different scenario, different ways. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is just I am selecting all these by holding the control key. I am going to select these products. Now, right. So, I am clicking on create a group wherever you can see right. So, in the tooltip, like uh, you can see here this paper clip icon this icon is called as a group once you click on a group now you can see this group is created another one more extra field is going to be created here in the dimensions window now here what i'm going to do is just i am going to give a separate name like for this i am going to give like milk powder something powders i'm clicking on okay now here powders under powders we are having all these products now for example if you want to create electronics then you can select everything by holding the control key and then you can use the same way and another way is like you can right click on this product id you can go to dimensions you can search for the product id and then right click on it and then go to create and group now here now here what i'm going to do i'm going to select these products and group it now i am going to give name as electronics i am clicking on ok now you can see another group is created with the electronics now for example i am deleting this group now here i am dragging this group one here now you can see electronics group is created in the same way you can edit the group and right so now you can make you can select aaa and you can give name for your group 
and here what you are going to give these all are like uh, powders and here you are going to give for this one i am going to make it other other and here okay fine now here for this i am going to give uh, bb means like it say like <clears throat> grocery just i am giving this again i am going to give ab these four i am going to select as a like uh, ab so vegetables now i am clicking on okay now here you can see i have different kind of groups now means what i have done here i have made high level category see for example i want to see what is the like price of all this electronics which i have sold as of now now here you want to make it some right so if i will remove this name then it is going to give the total price of these electronics and groceries powders and vegetables now whichever this which uh, like uh, whatever i have done now the grouping it is a manual grouping means manual means if any product will come if any product in your database suppose for example some product is going to be updated like for example here another product aa hyphen 07 or something the another new product is going to be updated then in tableau set that is not going to be added automatically into this list because this is like static grouping static grouping because manually you have selected the a product id and you have grouped it it means it is a static grouping once you have done means uh, whatever the new products is going to be updated with the same id like uh, with the same sequence then it is not going to be updated now here your requirement is right the requirement is here if whichever is starting from aa hyphen that should be automatically added into that like uh, powders group and whichever is the cc hyphen is coming to be starting with cc hyphen is going to be added to automatically to the electronics group okay now what i am going to do is i am going to write a one calculation means this is called as a dynamic grouping means automatically when database will update automatically those items is going to be added into that particular group okay now this sheet i am keeping as it is now i am dragging this group okay now i am going back to uh, like this is a like static group Now I am going to create a, another worksheet with dynamic group. Here I am going to write a one calculation. I want to, I am going to create a calculation to make it dynamic. Now I am giving name as a dynamic group. Here. I am going to write a calculation. I am using a if con if I am using a function called contains if contains. So then here what you have string and substring. So string means here it is a product ID. Now I am giving product ID and here I am going to give a hyphen. If see if you are not mentioning hyphen means okay. Now I am not I am removing hyphen then i am giving then here what you have to give here powders again else if contains product id comma then ab then here what is the name for ab let's take it ab what we are having like vegetables now again i am copying this one till then 
here after a b what we are having sorry b b so uh, b b c c yes now here i am going to give b b and then here it is groceries grocery then again i am pasting it here cc i am going to give electronics electronics then else others and so this is the calculation i am going to write it now guys observe here what contents will do is wherever it will find a a a b b b c c in the string entire string so it is going to be added into that particular group now in my data set i have added a a a and i am going to add b b b and i am going to add c c c and a a b c d i am going to add it now here i am giving name some different name like just uh, just something i am giving entering giving okay now i am saving this file i am saving this tableau side i haven't refreshed just i have saved it now i am clicking on okay now if i will drag this calculation here you can see electronics groceries powders vegetables here also same thing right so this is a manual grouping but this is a dynamic grouping now when i will drag the name here now you guys can observe so sorry let me drag the product id first now you can see cc whichever wherever cc wherever bb a a a vegetables but here powders under powders observe like let me refresh this one now here under powders you can see a a a it is adding and here b b b it is adding and here triple c it is and a b c d here adding because a b is common okay now see <clears throat> now i want to add only the ab hyphen ab hyphen whichever is coming cc hyphen so now this is not correct output which i am expecting okay this abcd aaa and bbb and ccc should not come under these groups those should be part of others so i want to change a calculation so what i am going to do is just i am adding a hyphen symbol here now if you we'll click on okay automatically this is going to be recreated now you can see here others one more created here under others a a a b c d b b b c c c now here just right so now in this case now here in this case see here everything is coming outside now what i am going to do is see now i am going to add one more a a product here if i will a a pro if i will add another a a or c c let me add c c here i am going to add c c hyphen 06 then i am giving product is a b c d just i am giving some name i am giving like 4000 now where it has to go it has to go under electronics it has to go under electronics now i am going to refresh now see static group dynamic group now we are going to see the difference now when i will refresh it now you can see let me uh, let me add the product id also so it will be easy okay now i am going to sorry i think i haven't saved this file let me save this file yeah i have saved it now let's go to tableau now just i am refreshing it once I will refresh, now you guys can see CC-06 added out of this electronics. Our requirement is it should go under electronics. As it is a static group, it is not adding. This CC-06 is not adding into under electronics. Now, if you go to dynamic groups, now you can see CC-06 ABCD added under electronics okay this is like how we can create a dynamic groups means by writing the calculation we can create but be careful it should be a unique 
means like the product id like it's it should be unique differs with some another like products which we are using so if you are having a uniqueness of this group uh, like product id or product name then you can able to create this dynamic groups thank you guys thanks for watching my video please subscribe my channel for more videos